Hey guys, today it's getting a little bit thuggish around here. We're making a pug life cake. Cause we all know that you don't choose the pug life, the pug life chooses you. I think he's super cute, but he's also pretty tough. Lots of you have been requesting to see a dog cake, so here it is. So to make this adorable little guy, I've gone ahead and baked a nine inch round cake and I've cut it into just two layers. I also have some of our sweet buttercream. I've got the details for both of these recipes in the link below. I also have a nine inch round cake plate as well as a large black cake board that's square just to give it that really nice portrait effect. I've also made up some of our modeling chocolate recipe and I've got it in a really nice puggy kind of shade, a black brown, a little bit of gold and a touch of black and white for his eyes. Now the first thing I'm gonna do is take a spatula and start stacking my cakes up, adding a gorgeous layer of buttercream as a filling. Pop our other layer on and then just go around and scrape off the excess. Now we wanna apply a crumb coat to the entire cake. And then using a scraper to scrape it back. Using the excess, you can apply a crumb coat to the top. And then allow this to set in the fridge for a good 10 or 15 minutes. And once it's nice and chilled, we can go ahead and apply our final coat. And scrape it back. Drag the excess over the top and apply a nice even coat. And then add it to your cake board, making sure that you keep it up fairly high because we want to fit in that gold chain. So now I'm going to take a decent sized chunk of our modeling chocolate in our puggish sort of brown beige shade and I want to go ahead and wrap it around the sides of the cake. So I need to roll it out so that it's about three inches high and a little bit over 28 inches long. So start by rolling it out into a long sausage. Put down a little bit of corn flour so it doesn't stick and then roll it out using a large rolling pin. Roll across to make it nice and level. And then I'm gonna mark up about three inches just in some little sections. And then just cut across. Go a little bit higher rather than lower. Now we need at least 28 inches, so I'll do almost 30. And be sure to wrap up all of the excess straight away so that we can keep that to do his face. Now I'm gonna take a smaller rolling pin and just roll it over to make it nice and easy. Bring it over to our cake, drop it down, and just start wrapping it around the entire cake. Smoothing it down, mark where the two of them join and then just cut with an X-Acto knife. Give that a little rub to join. And then coming down, I'm just gonna cut it across right where the top of the cake is. And lift that off. And once that's all done, we're ready to start working on his face. I'm so excited for this cake because we're actually tossing up whether to get a pug for ourselves as a little puppy or whether to go for something like a jug or a frog or a, some other kind of crossbreed because pugs are just so cute and they kind of make every other dog even cuter. To help with his face, I have another nine inch round cake plate and I'm just gonna take a chunk of our modeling chocolate and just roll it out. I'm going to take our cake plate and just go around it, leaving a little bit of overhang. And just rub down the edge to make it nice and smooth. Now taking our cake, we're going to lay it over the top. Blunt it down with the heel of your thumb. 
Now I'm going to take some of the brown black shade that I have and I made this just by incorporating the brown and the black but not all the way and that way it's a little bit splotchy and I think it looks more pug like. So grab a decent chunk and just roll it around, press it down. You want to get a bit of a triangle happening but not too pointy. Bring the cake over and then just start smoothing it down. Going over the edge again. Give it a light rub. Taking a bit of pure black, I'm just gonna make a little nose. Taking a scribe tool or just a toothpick, you wanna go ahead, make some little nostrils and then you can come down. Now we're gonna give him a great big frown. So he looks nice and tough. Finally, I'm just gonna add some little dots all over his cheeks. And that's his mouth done. I'm gonna come along on the cake, make it nice and thick. Now we're gonna make ones coming down. I'm gonna roll a long sausage of our pug brown. Just make sure it's fairly pointed at the bottom. And attach it, just pinching to pull it down to the right size. Same with this side. Drawing it down till it goes round. Again, I'm gonna make a little crease in it. Taking some black, I'm just gonna roll little balls for eyes and then just pop them down just above the wrinkles. And finish off the eyes with a little white dot. Roll some smaller sausages. And just taper them around the eyes. Making sure that you go over the black a little bit. If your modeling chocolate isn't sticking to itself, you can apply a little bit of water or sugar glue to help it. Going back to our blackish brown, I'm just gonna go ahead and work on some ears. Just by taking a section, pushing it out, and measure it up for size. Once you're happy, keep it there so you can make another. Give them a little press and fold over. And then just roll more little sausages and pop them onto his forehead. Again, pressing down or you can use a bit of water. Now he's looking pretty puggish already, but it's time to ramp up that pug life look. So I'm gonna be adding a gorgeous dangly gold chain. So taking some gold modeling chocolate, I've just used ivory to create this shade, lots and lots of ivory. I'm just gonna roll it into sausages and then join them together like a chain. And you can also go ahead and roll a big long sausage and then chop it up to make it faster. Once you find one the right size, just keep cutting them to that. Thread another one through. and join it together. Just keep looping them together. Okay, and then just attach by squeezing and pressing in that first one. The final touch for this cake is to add a little bit of gold luster or highlighter. Add a bit of clear alcohol or rose essence and we want to go ahead and paint this gold. And now it's time to cut this puppy up. I can't wait to see your recreation. So remember to hashtag pug life and hashtag cake style so that we can see your cakes.